Hi, meet Anthony Culver, Marketing Manager at FIC at the campus of Sam and Fraser University. Hi, Anthony. Hey, hey, Ganga. How are you? Good. Anthony, tell us what's the situation like in Vancouver right now. Yeah, for sure. I think the situation in Vancouver is very stable. Already, we've really flattened the curve. Things are already progressing that the government in British Columbia, and specifically looking at Vancouver, is looking at different plans of really phasing out the quarantine now. And so it's really exciting because we're getting past the, the concerning parts of COVID-19, and we're starting to see a lot of positive signs in Vancouver. That's great. And how is FIC supporting students, providing the remote learning and all of that? There's so much to talk about on this one. I think we could talk for quite a long time. FIC, when we talk about it, comes down to three points. The first one is community. That's massive for us. And you'll notice with FIC, we've taken all of our volunteer groups, the leadership groups, and we've put them online. So our activities are still going on. It's a fantastic opportunity. The second thing is the education. We're tied in a partnership with Simon Fraser University. So we always maintain that high quality, regardless of whether it's remote or on campus. And then that third part is transferring our students into Simon Fraser University. That remains our goal. And so we're working with our instructors and really making sure that regardless of where our students are right now around the world, they are meeting that goal of graduating from Simon Fraser University. Yeah, FIC is always known to support its students. Tell us something about the September intake and how you're going to be supporting them. That's a really exciting question because with September, we are working closely with the government. We're following all their policies. Of course, our mindset is that we want our students to be safe. And so we are looking at a couple different options. We are looking at offering on campus in person options and then also offering the option of having students go remote and learn again from wherever they are regardless of what city, what country, or if they have a visa, they can study with us and make sure that they're progressing and not really delaying their studies by another four months. True, true. What's the situation around admissions for the September and uh, Jan intake now, the coming September and Jan? Mm. Yeah, so FIC, we've never actually had application deadlines on our side, but realizing that this COVID-19 has affected everything, we've also tried to be even more flexible. So now we actually have removed the condition clearing date. So as long as you send in your final marks to FIC before you start your program, it's no problem. That gives you a lot of flexibility. You don't have to be as stressed about whether your exam results are coming today, tomorrow, we are going to be working with you to make sure that you match your goal. That's great. Uh, what advice would you give to our students? I think when it comes to students and, and really their families, there's got to be a lot of stress right now. Because normally we get to meet in person, have that discussion, really address every single question. But it's difficult now. There's complexities, but I want to reassure every single student. First of all, we've got Can-Am. They're one of my favorite partners in India. They'll help you with the visa. They have a registered immigration consultant, so that's a fantastic opportunity there. The other one is that keep searching. Keep asking us questions. You can get a hold of me via email. I'm more than happy to answer questions and work with Canam to support you. So let's not delay, let's keep pushing forward and really working to make sure that whatever your goal is, that we find it and that we make sure that you reach it. Thank you, thank you so much, Anthony. I'm sure the students enjoyed listening to you and I'm sure they will now apply to FIC at Summit Fraser University.